Hello everyone, welcome back to part three of our Lamborghini Cyan build. Make sure to go check out the other two parts, but if you haven't seen them or you just need a recap, we have done the first two boxes, all right? So we did the two side boxes. We're gonna move into the actual louvers. You can see our product so far looking incredibly cool with our functioning V12, functioning transmission, functioning uh, suspension on both sides. We got all the disc brakes on. It's super cool, amazing car. Be sure to go check out the other videos because I really break down all of the neat technical stuff that's going on. So last time we did the two side boxes, which gave us this, and now we'll be focusing in on the middle boxes, the carbon fiber louvers. Since I was looking at it, you can see that the size of this box is a lot smaller than the side boxes. So I figured we would combine two of these middle boxes into one video. So we would do one part, we do two of these boxes, and then our final part would be the last two boxes. I know for these two, we will be moving into the interior and getting some of the actual aesthetic details on the car, which is gonna be super neat to see all come together and move towards having the finished piece. So let's get right into it.
All right, so we just completed the third box of this Lamborghini and we got a lot of cool stuff done. All right, so as you can see, it's starting to look a lot more of a car. We've got the interior complete and we've got a lot more of the bodywork uh, sort of set up. So some really cool things I noticed just putting this together. All right, as you can see, we have the pretty much full interior. We got the seats in, including the side bolsters that keep you in place during handling G's, which is really cool. And I just love the design, how you have the green inlaid with the gray, super neat. And I love this. If you look at the headrest, it has the actual Lamborghini logo on it. Again, no stickers in this set, but they have a custom piece that fits right in there to have the Lamborghini on the headset. Super, super cool. Another neat thing we have up here is in the footwell, we have this control. That links all the way back to the end of the car, which eventually will control the active spoiler. Check that out, all right? So we'll hook this up to the wing, and then you'll be able to fold it and lift it from the passenger footwell. Super neat. We also have what I believe will eventually be the controls for the scissor doors. You know, Lamborghini has the scissor doors that go up. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work yet, but I believe that you can be able to press the roof and the door will open. Super neat. We also have the steering wheel and driver's side pretty much totally complete. The wheel here turns the wheels just like, you know, a normal car would, but I love the mechanism they have for doing this. And of course, has the Lamborghini logo on the steering wheel. Super cool. We also have the gauge cluster with your sunshade above it, and it has the actual Lamborghini Cyan, uh, you know, screen gauges stuff going on in there. Really neat, as well as the paddle shifters now complete. And if you watch my other videos, you can see those actually shift the gears. That's just so cool. So that's pretty much all the technical stuff we have done. We have the steering complete, we have the transmission complete, we have the engine complete, and we have what looks to be the door mechanisms and the spoiler pretty much intact <laughs> and from now on i think we're just going to be adding on body work which will be super cool to do we also finished the first booklet and we are on to the second one which when you put them together make the shape of the car which is super cool and as you can see for box four we get this super cool interior shot of the lamborghini cyan even though this is tan i prefer the gray interior but still really cool to see so let's get into box four
right guys, so we have just finished up box four of our Lamborghini and it is seriously coming together. I mean, look, it looks like most of a Lamborghini Cyan. So in this uh, box, we pretty much did the whole back of the car. That is pretty much all finished, all of the cosmetic stuff and it is looking so cool. First off, take a look at the back of this car. I mean, the cyan, the back of that car is already insane, and in Lego form, it is so cool, and they replicated everything so well. Like these crazy shapes, it's such a unique way of doing that around the taillights, as well as the crazy exhaust up here. And, check this out, bah, active spoiler! It's so cool. And we have the sort of airplane fins on either side that line up with the wing. And I mean, I, I, you'll probably see in the time lapse, I can just do this all day. That's just, that's just so cool. We also have the rear engine cover complete. You check it out. You even get little details like the Italian flag on the side there. You get this crazy louver shape, which again, they somehow replicated in Lego. That is seriously impressive. And just the shapes around it, so cool. Now, uh, if you know about the Lamborghini Cyan and some of Lamborghini's recent crazy cars, this doesn't actually hinge. You can't open it up. You have to take the whole thing off because it's race car. So they did that the same way with this car. You can just take it off like it's an engine cover and you can see the engine. So it doesn't hinge. It just comes right off like it does in the actual car. But yeah, there you have the V12, which we've shown before, and your pushrod suspension and everything going on back there. Super, super neat. We also got some of the roof completed. Look how the sunroof, I guess it's a sunroof, matches up with the louvers in the back. And we've got kind of the road work going for the front windshield and eventually the front clip and everything, which will be happening in the next Lego. But so far, I am incredibly impressed, as I've said before, with just how well everything goes together here. It's, it's amazing. And just for a sense of scale, look at the size of this it's gigantic and we're still going to be adding on a whole bunch to the front of the car with another two boxes to go so incredible incredible lego i'm just blown away by it all the time so next box like i said we'll be doing the front we'll be doing the doors which is super cool that's really all we've got done so far stay tuned to the next video and we'll finish up the lamborghini All right, so that's what we got done in this box. As you can see in our uh, magazine here, not magazine, direction book, blooper reel. Blooper reel. All right, so we've just completed the third box of the Lamborghini and opening this up, you can, I mean, <laughs> all right, so just, even just the box, okay, now we redo.